Anne here from Anne Makes. Welcome to uh, my channel and welcome to my studio. Uh, today I just wanted to do a catch up with what I've been doing video so my peeps would know uh, that I'm still thinking of them and that, you know, you guys, I've just been very busy. I have a lot of projects going on. So that's why I've been a little bit quiet this week on YouTube. I haven't done any haul videos this week yet, uh, but I've got some coming up. So what I wanted to uh, share with you is what I have been up to. And I wanted to tell you that yesterday we did have the nor'easter that was hitting the uh, eastern coast of the U.S. And of course it had an impact in Canada, but for us it was just another day. It snowed the entire day. It started snowing overnight and it kept snowing till the overnight last night. And there's a lot of snow out there and life goes on for us. Uh, the children went to school. I saw the school buses. All my neighbors went to work. You know, traffic was still moving. Deliveries were being made, you know. There was a ton and ton of snow and uh, today is a bright sun, shiny day and a lot of that snow is melting. So we're, I just hope that was the last snowfall of the year. Anyway, so now I just want to share with you what I've been up to. I have happy mail to share with you. I have projects that I'm working on to share with you. I've got stuff in the works and um, I had to make a list so I would know uh, to, I would remember to tell you everything. Um, so one of the things I'm working on is I was asked by a viewer, which will bring me to another subject. Uh, what is it that I do with all those napkins that I purchase at the dollar stores and other stores too, because I have a, quite a collection of napkins. I don't just buy them at the dollar stores. I, if I go into a stationery store or a party supply store or even department stores or even grocery stores sometimes uh, and I see some really beautiful napkins. Now if they're really like inexpensive, like they're on sale, the sale of a sale, <laughs> then I'm very likely to buy them because I love the designs. And I'm, you know, I'm fascinated by artwork and design. And um, my last dollar tree haul, I believe, I haul these napkins and a viewer said, well, what can you show us what you do with your napkins? And that's what I'm working on. I'm working on some posts to show you how I use napkins in my arts and crafts. Um, you know, I buy napkins to be used for parties, for meals and, and get togethers, but I also buy these and I mostly buy them for DIYs and how to's. So I will have a few things coming up on that. I am currently working on something uh, with flower pots. That's all I can say. I can't say more than that because it's kind of being kept under wraps for now because it's part of another collaboration that I'm doing. So uh, I will have something about that. I have another napkin uh, project uh, in this little bag here and that's all you're going to know for now. That's all I'm gonna tell you uh, And so, you know, you want to uh, stay tuned for that if that interests you and in addition to my little my napkin projects, I'm doing a little bit of macrame. Yes, that's you. That's right. You heard it here I'm going retro macrame macrame is back, baby and uh, I've been asked by a company to try this tool out and to give it a review and uh, I was like, oh my goodness. So yeah, uh, I've got a very simple macrame thing coming and I will be probably doing a little bit more macrame. And uh, that's not the only thing I've been doing that's different, but uh, I've also been knitting. Yes, I have been knitting some alpaca wool. So some real wool from alpacas on a knitting loom. Um, I can show you that a little bit. So I've been knitting on a, a loom, an oval shaped loom. Um, and that's all I can show you right now because this also is supposed to be under wraps, no pun intended. 
And I can tell you that uh, the loom, it was provided to me from uh, this company that I work with called Leisure Arts. There's a whole book on oval loom knitting. There's a lot of oval, there's a lot of new knitting, knit, new loom knitting patterns ooh, on uh, YouTube and Pinterest and Instagram and stuff. And uh, I've done it before. And I'm doing it now because I have this opportunity to work with a couple yarn companies and this publisher. So that's what I'm doing. And this is some beautiful, so soft alpaca uh, patterns. Alpaca, alpaca, alpaca blend. <laughs> I can't say the word anymore. So yeah, I've got some pretty stuff going on with that. In addition to that, I have been uh, testing some new coloring pencils and some new watercolor pencils, uh, again, from the Leisure Arts Company. And I will have something for that later on. And so I've been just, you know, drawing on this little card here or coloring, I should say. And another thing that I've been doing for the same company from Leisure Arts is that I have been playing with making paper flowers. And I can just give you a little sneaky peeky or over there, that big pink flower on my, like attached to the back of my uh, desk there. So there's something, I'm doing something with that and doing a review and, and it involves Cricut also, so. That's another thing that I'm doing. Well, those are some of the things I've been doing. Now, I want to share some happy mail with you. I was very happy to receive this cute little, it's called the Sidekick Cube. I'm very pleased to collaborate with this company called Artbin. Uh, Artbin is a company that specializes in uh, manufacturing storage and organizing organizing products for artists and crafters as well and uh, they asked me if I would like to give a review of their new sidekick cube so that is something to look forward to as well uh, that will be coming up in one of my videos some other happy mail that I got and it's all about a brand new product on the market is this glitter intense glitter from testors testors is also restolium the company that manufactures all these wonderful paints and paint finishes uh, for all your diy home decor and they also do uh, they also have a craft product division and they also uh, manufacture all the paints for model making those little tester bottles of paint that's the same company and uh, they sent me this and it is silver glitter. It is supposed to be great for wood, plastic, metal, and more. The more is intriguing. And so uh, this is what it is, is it will be covering something uh, that I've painted and it will be all shiny and sparkly, all fun stuff. So I have something to do with that and that will be coming up as well. And because I'm doing this little macrame project, I ordered some special um, cording and some yarn. So that was another happy mail that I got. So to make my little macrame uh, plant hanger, I ordered these, this Burnett Maker Home Deck. I think, I think this is like a rose or coral color. I don't see the name of the color on here. I just have like a number, but uh, I will be making something with that as well. So that's, uh, I think that's all for my happy mail, uh, projects I've got coming, which brings me to the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is that I get asked a lot of questions in um, the comments and I answer all, I, I try my best to answer all of them, and I love it. I love that you guys are asking me questions. It shows that you are, uh, you know, more into being creative and, and less fearful of trying things, and, and you're, you know, you're getting 
crafty and more I would like to say you're just discovering your creativity and I love that so I was thinking what would you think of my doing maybe a live Q&A uh, a live question and answer on YouTube about all sorts of things creative and crafty I I just thinking like in the last week of all the different questions I've been asked from different people via different uh, social media and I've been asked uh, questions about um, you know how how to be a how to be a designer how to be an influencer uh, what can you do with napkins uh, can you cut uh, a certain material with your Cricut do you uh, do you, what kind of paintbrush do you recommend for the I've had all sorts of questions so uh, and you know I'm not I'm not able to answer every single one of them because I do not know everything oh goodness I, I know maybe this much to what's out there but uh, yeah if you're interested in doing something like that I know I the idea came to me because I remembered that the frugal crafter she used to have a series of uh, I think it was called ask ask a crafter I believe and I'm sorry if I just bushed that Lindsay <laughs> but uh, and I thought it was really interesting because I learned a lot from watching her on that series so I just thought well maybe you guys would like that as well or if you if you have an interest in specific topics that you would like for me to share with you on YouTube about like something creative of course uh, you want me to show you how I do something or you know if this would help you out or you just feel like playing along with me uh, let me know let me know in the comments and I'll maybe I'll work on the on a series of Q&A's like that and so what else have I been up to uh, I have been uh, swamped I've had a heavy burden on my shoulders from some personal um, family issues with uh, mostly medical health things uh, it's it's uh, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer and I'm trying not to let all of this bring me down I'm okay and um, the the people around me are are okay and all that matters is that everybody um, gets the care the treatment they need and that uh, all those ducks that I had in a row <laughs> get put back in that row so um, yeah because uh, life is uh, you know unpredictable and uh, so yeah I'm so I, ha I have to deal with that and I'm dealing with all these projects as you know and so one of the things I've been doing is ordering some more supplies I have some other projects uh, that I will be working on and uh, was, of course they're mostly I've told you I work with leisure arts and Cricut and now art bin and I work with testers and rust-oleum and I also work a little bit with Bernat and patents and all these different companies so I've got different things happening uh, with different products and different all related to the craft industry and there's a new website I'll out there uh, it hasn't been officially announced I think it will be on Monday if I'm not mistaken I'll call cheap thrifty living dot com cheap thrifty living dot com and yours truly has contributed I believe I have four posts on there um, of cheap cheap thrifty crafty DIYs and things uh, on there and so uh, if you're interested in seeing what I had to say <laughs> you can go check that out um, and see it then it links you back to my blog so you can read on my blog all those things and um, good news I have reached the 1,111 subscribers. Thank you so very much, everyone. I love you so much. I'm so pleased that I've gotten there. It means a lot to me. It really does. And good news for you guys is that it was just confirmed uh, yesterday that I have a sponsor that will be contributing to this giveaway. 
and I do not have the stuff yet because it was just confirmed yesterday and I don't know exactly when the package will arrive but I can tell you that it has to do with uh, because you guys have stuck with me this is what my idea was and they agreed to do this uh, I, said, I wanted to thank you for sticking with me to this point and I hope you continue to stick with me beyond and as my thank you I will be picking two winners and two winners will be receiving uh, a thank you gift from me and also something from glue dots and uh, that's all I can say and glue dots uh, wanted to let me know that they're actually selling two products in Dollar Tree and they said well since you do all these Dollar Tree hauls uh, you know maybe you could share that with your audience and I was like yeah of course I'm gonna share that because I know a lot of you need to stick things to other things so be on the lookout for that and I will have more information about that when the products come in and uh, I haven't been doing any hauls this week because I've been so busy but tomorrow I have a really big day. I have to go to the city to bring my son to an all day event and I will be staying in the city while he's at this event. So I will take advantage of that opportunity to try to visit as many uh, stores as I can and get as many deals and things that I can because I haven't been shopping in a while. And, um, what else is going on? I, I've also been planning another business trip. Uh, I've been booking my flights and hotels and, and that's a conference that I'll be going to and hopefully at that conference I will have more new stuff to share with you about uh, the creative DIY uh, mom type of industry of things that happen in the industry and uh, can share that with you after that that'll be sometime in April so you'll have to look for that probably in May um, also uh, waiting for renovations to continue in my home because of the renovations of the studio it also means that I'm waiting to for the contractors to come back and finish the exterior wall of my studio because that wall there used to be screen and now it's an actual closed wall i'm inside i'm not outside anymore so we have to finish the outside it's all insulated and protected but there's no finish right now right now it's just that blue tarp type of paper not very pretty and on the inside part of my house on the living room dining room side we still have holes in the wall from all the electrical so that has to be all finished and then we are moving on to renovating the uh, boys' bathroom. And so I've got all that going on. I'm juggling all of that. And um, yeah, I think that's enough. <laughs> that's pretty much enough. So, and by the way, yeah, my husband's away on a business trip. He's been gone uh, most of the week. He's, he'll be gone for an entire week, actually, by the time he comes back. And of course, it's a business trip, and after his business trip, he's going to play golf for a few days. So, you know, I'll be here dealing with this. <sighs> okay, so uh, wish me luck tomorrow, and I, uh, whatever I find, if I find anything, I'm sure I will share that haul with you guys uh, in some video or videos. And I want to thank you so much for uh, helping me get to 1,111. Look for a, another video very soon for that contest uh, for me to draw the two winners. So uh, that means that I have gotten to 1,111, so now the contest is closed. I, cannot, I will not accept any more um, participants because of when I, I said I would get to 1,111, that's it and i will draw those names that's coming up in another video i am shooting other videos about the products that i have to review so i've got those things coming in the next uh, few days and weeks and uh yeah so thanks a lot for watching i love you very much uh please take care of yourself and i will see you after the next video 
Bye.